on this one. Great, great title. Beaten black and blue. Being a cop in America under siege. Our buddy, Brandon Tatum. Hey, Brandon, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, Dan. Ready to get into this. Yeah, let's get right after it. Uh, you saw the video. You were a cop. I've said this multiple times. You guys and gals have one to three seconds, if that, to react. This gentleman was in the process of being cuffed, by the way, I'll point out, by a black officer. He didn't comply. I hate to use the phrase because the left hates when I say it, they attack me. But comply, don't die, dang it. And he fights, he struggles, he gets back in the car. She made a fatal mistake. She grabbed the wrong piece. I get it. But why didn't he just comply? We wouldn't even be having this discussion right now. Yeah, I think that's the big problem here. You know, I see two things here. I see a training issue, and I also see a compliance issue. I don't know why in the world that African-American people in this country do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Everybody cries about Philando Castile and all these other people who have resisted arrest and ended up getting killed, but yet they do it time and time again. What was his expected end in this? Did he feel like they were just going to let him go just because he didn't want to go to jail? The, you, what you start with is not having a warrant for your arrest, and then when it's time to go to jail, just go to jail. Now, I do see a problem with this young lady is that you are signed up for a job. You should be trained. You should be ready to go. Mm -hmm. You would never pull a, t a gun out instead of a taser because you end up killing somebody, unfortunately. So I personally believe that she wasn't malicious, had nothing to do with race. I don't think that she should be charged criminally. I think it was an accident in the heat of the moment. There was no culpable um, state there for her killing this guy. It was an accident. However, when you make accidents like that, you are no longer allowed to be a police officer. Right. She should not be a police officer anymore right. because she cannot handle her composure. She don't know the difference between a gun and a taser. Um, and, and, and that's a that's a training issue. Right. Because Which you means you don't defund the police if you want to train cops better. So that will then poke yeah. a hole what you're saying in the narrative of defund because you need to train them so they're better trained so this doesn't happen. Right. You're going to get you're going to see an influx in these people who are probably not as well trained, who are scared to death when they're on duty because they are this rhetoric against law enforcement. If they would stop pushing this this dangerous rhetoric against law enforcement, give law enforcement more money to train individuals. Maybe this young lady wouldn't be so flustered and pull her gun out instead of a taser. So there's two faults in this. I don't think she will be charged criminally. I don't think she should. It was an accident. Yes. And that those accidents happen when you are a dummy and you want to resist arrest. You are things will happen to you. Either she shot you there or they shoot you when you're down the road in a high speed chase. I I have no sympathy for this young man who's out here committing crimes, have warned for his arrest, and, and, and decided to fight the police and try to drive off. I Thank have no you. sympathy for him. Thank and you. And I also feel like this officer should be held accountable um, because of her actions as well. Yeah, there you go. I, I couldn't agree. Everything you just said, I'm in full agreement with, Brand. Uh, you sent us a video over that has you narrating an officer-involved uh, incident. And I want to roll that real quick. It's about a minute, and then have you comment on that as well, because you obviously have walked a beat. You've ridden in the cruiser. You've, you know, taken down suspects. You know what it's like where these media folks who just went after the chief of police today and the mayor asking them nasty, angled questions and stuff, people just don't understand it. Or these politicians that are protected by armed guards, they make all these statements out there inciting more violence between the races when they don't get what it's like to be a cop. So let's roll this video, uh, which has, I believe, you narrating it, and then we'll chat about it. Pull over this guy on a traffic stop. Looked to be a legitimate traffic stop. Don't, doesn't seem to be combative. The guy showed registration and insurance. The officer noticed that he has a weapon on him. And so for the officer safety, he said, hey, do you mind if I take the weapon off of you while we have this police encounter? I'll give it back to you after it's over. Which seems to be very normal to say to somebody and, and non-confrontational. But then watch what happens. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go to my vehicle, okay? Come on. Now, right here, he already in a bad position. This guy has a gun in his hand. He cannot see the gun, and this is not going to end well. So they blurred out. The cop is here, deceased. This guy gets in the car. He takes off. Hmm. Look at the time you guys have to react. And so, yes, she drew the wrong weapon. But again, that guy turned. It appeared he was reaching for his back, Mr. Wright, in what just happened in Brooklyn Center, and then dove back into his car for what? You don't know. And so she pulled her, unfortunately, piece and shot him instead of taser. And like that one there, he made a bad call. It, 
I just people, wish people would understand what you guys have to go through out there, and they don't get it, Brandon. Yeah, and that's the, the most stressful thing that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, that people just don't get it. You know, you have to be held accountable as a police officer. But my God, she probably watched that video before this traffic stop happened. People, you never know when you are going to be attacked and assaulted by somebody for no reason, and you will never, you, you don't get the push restart as no. a police officer. You know, when you're losing in the game, you hit the reset button, you start over. When you're a police officer, when you die, it is final. Your, your family would never see you again. And that's why these officers are so amped up in these situations. And, 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 and this is 100% avoidable. If you are a citizen, don't resist arrest. Don't try to take yes. police on a high-speed chase because then you don't leave them open to making mistakes. This woman made a mistake. I don't think she should be charged criminally, but I do think that she had forfeited her right to be a police sure. officer because of this mistake. Brand, running out of time, and I got I to gotta get to this with you because I want your take on what happened immediately following, uh, and I want to tie this to BLM. So we have the tragic events of yesterday in this suburb by Minneapolis. We know tensions are running high because of the George Floyd trial. Immediately, what happens? BLM, hundreds of people, BLM Antifa go out, riot, 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 destroy stuff, hurt cops, throw bottles, throw stuff at them. And we learn over the weekend that one of the main co-founders of the BLM spent three point like six million over the past four or five years buying like four or five properties around this country with the cash she's raking in. Why? Because the money's not going to the black communities where it's supposed to go because BLM, I'm sorry, is a farce. They're doing nothing but causing more divide in this country. They're not bringing people together, They're not helping black communities. Your thoughts and then we got to run. Well, you know, the dumbest people in our society right now, these black activists and BLM, the dumbest people. Um, how in the world does a man get killed and you claim to care about Martin Luther King, but you do nothing that he prescribed for us to do? You go out and burn your own cities and go steal stuff. That makes no sense in the world. You don't want police targeting black people because the violent actions of black, so don't target police officers because the violent action of one police officer. This young lady who started BLM has nothing to do with black folks. She go out and spend all this money buying up property to mm -hmm. enrich herself yeah. on the backs of black deaths, and she's buying them in black and white neighborhoods. Yeah. She, she, and, and Topeka Canyon is majority white. I know. These people don't give a flying flip about black <laughs> folks. They are lining their pockets. They're putting money. They're building an economy in white communities that when this all is said and done, when it blows over, when black people are no longer relevant in this country as a whole, culture is being demonized, she's going to go up in her penthouse in the white neighborhood, spend her money in the white community, and forget this has ever happened. These people are a joke, and I wish that America would wake up to the farce that is BLM, the farce that is this woke protesting culture where they burn their own communities and they steal out of stores because somebody died at the hands of a law enforcement officer. But they will do nothing when black kids are getting shot to death in these inner cities. Yeah. They won't even make a T-shirt, won't do a fundraiser, won't do a GoFundMe. They won't do crap. Yeah. These people are, are evil. And, I, and I'll leave it at that. That's all we got to end it with. Brandon Tatum, thanks for coming on the program, man. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Be Dave. safe, brother.